What's going on everyone? Cameron Brazy here. Welcome to week two of the AABL. I'm the Cutcher Zanes Vizoras. You could say I'm a little behind. Just maybe I'm a little behind on recording. Like how I've missed two weeks of the CBLA. And I'm probably gonna go I'm definitely gonna record those after this. But I thought I would go with the CBLA second since I'm more focused on the AABL right now. So yeah, um we are taking on Gamo and the Hamilton Honchcrows. And yeah, um question of the day. Why am I so bad at recording? Um we'll figure that out as we go. But yeah, uh, as you can see, for some reason I'm on the other side and I don't know how to switch over. But I have my scissor, my little scissor, my beautiful scissor, choice band, no, life orb. We have choice banded, uh, diggers be a scarf, Miss Magius, assault vest, electros, um, leftovers, seismistode, and leftovers, odd oh, no. So, let's get right into this thing. Okay, sorry, my dog is going crazy for some reason. So he leads with his Victini, I lead with Electros, and he goes for U-Turn. And I can see that he has a lot of attack investment. And so, okay, this is probably my worst play ever. I see the knockoff, and I'm calking it, and I see the Rindo Berry, and I was like, I can live this. And I forgot to take the Rindo Berry off. So that was my bad. Then he knocks off my Life Orb on uh, my... Okay, my dog is really annoying. Sorry. My um scissors, so I go for Bullet Punch because it would have killed. And then I go for superpower to knock out that Empoleon after I get the plus two. Now, let's see, I'm at a good amount of health. Victini comes out. So I just switch out to take this uh, V-Crate. And that's when I knew he was banded. When that just absolutely Yoko'd me. So I was like, alright, he's banded. And I know the Chanty's coming in, so I double out into my Scissor. I go for a Swords Dance here. And I'm just like, alright, he went for Thunderbird, that was pretty good prep. I go for Superpower, and I get Paralyzed, because why wouldn't I get Paralyzed? He goes for Seismic Toss, take a good amount of damage. Super Paralyzed just Okos him. And now he comes in, he's at 50%, and I'm like, ooh, a Bullet Punch will make it where he can't come back in, but, you know, my luck, I get Paralyzed. V-Crate does knock me out, but Miss Mage is, like I said, comes in and freely clicks Shadow Ball. And that's exactly what I do. I click Shadow Ball, and it literally does 5%. It does 19, I'm kidding. But it's like 5%. So Bertha comes out, and he goes for a roost. And Bertha just literally just destroys lives. You can see how much that return does. He goes for the Tailwind, and I go for a return because I don't Toji Headache is super slow. The Teeny comes in, he's banded, so this V-Crate's going to destroy my life. But even though he's banded, Miss Magius always comes in and clicks Shadow Ball and kills. Always. That's exactly what it does. So Weefion comes in. I know the knockoff's coming, but I need my Assault Vest, so I just go for Shadow Ball. It almost knocks him out. I, th I realized that's when I realized he was defensive. So Electros comes in. And he's sitting at a good health. Here comes the knockoff. I lose my Assault Vest. But I'm like, okay. What can this new thing do to me? I looked up Sludge Wave, and I was like, okay, I can live it. And that's if he's not Specs, but he's Specs. Why wouldn't he be Specs? But yeah, that's a good battle. I mean, nothing I can really do about that one. I made a bad play with uh, forgetting to take off my Rindo Berry on the Calc. And, I mean, Para Hacks kind of got into there. But it's like, whatever. It's only week two. Week three is going to be right around the corner. We play Corey. Shoutouts to Corey. He's beaten me so many times in the past. But I feel like with my new teams, I feel like I can do this. Show that better not. Um, I hope that's not a spoiler for the CBLA. I don't know if I posted that or not. Whoops. I think I didn't. Oh, well. It was obvious I wasn't going to win that one. <laughs> also, a team announcement. I have dropped Haunch Crow and Chestnog, and I've picked up Nido Queen and Kabutops. So I can just explain it because I ha I can just do this here since it is a ABL related instead of making a separate video. Um, Chestnog was pretty good on my team. It gave me my Grass type, but I was thinking about it, and as much as I like Chestnog, I needed a form of Hazard Remover. And I'm losing spikes, but I'm gaining someone who's... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. My dog's so loud. 
I don't know if you can even hear him or not, but I can, and it annoys me. So, like, he get, get so Kabutops gets Stealth Arcs. It gives me a Rapid Spinner, and Rapid Spin, I mean, my only two forms of Hazard Removal right now are my Sweepers and Scissor and Latios, and my, what's it called? I'm trying to think, I'm sorry. Um. Oh, and dropping Honchkrow. I mean, I love Honchkrow. I really didn't want to. But it's getting me, in the long run, I feel like it's better because I'm losing my fairy weakness. And I'm losing two of my big fairy weaknesses, which is a good thing. And now you can't just run, like, fairy on everything and expect to win. You actually have to plan around it because Needle Queen is a beast and a half. So it also gets access to Toxic Spikes. It's a great Life Orb Sheer Force user. It can just, it's... Needle Queen, I like better than Needle King, just because it's more versatile, I feel like it can be defensive and offensive on both sides. Well, yeah, that's about it. Uh, Shoutouts to Gamma. I will. I am so sorry. I don't know why I did that. I just literally dropped a pencil onto my computer set, and it made a loud noise. Uh, hopefully it's not loud. But where was I? Oh yeah, um, I'm going to put Gamma's Twitter into the description. Go check him out. He's a great battler, as you can see. Uh, and next week, I will be on time. I'm about to go record my CBLA matches right now. So you can have those. And, yes, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, hit that like button if you joined. If you didn't, tell me in the comments why. And I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.